What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Nitty back in the building en route to a Nike clearance store. And before we pull up to a Nike clearance store, man, I had the privilege to go on Nike sneaker app. And what I found today is that the Nike Air Max 97 Silver Bullets is dropping this Friday. That's crazy to me. Because the last time we got that shoe was roughly around five years ago. In 2016, I remember finding a pair in the St. Augustine Nike outlet. It was a size 11 though, it wasn't my size. But later on, I was able to purchase my size at Finish Line locally. $160, maybe 70. But this pair is a little bit more expensive. It's going for $185. My question to y'all is, are y'all copping? Are y'all gonna buy this pair of shoes? Because five years ago, nobody really cared for them. And it's crazy that Nike bought them back five years later for the 25th anniversary for $15 more. Guys, the store is about to open, so let's go inside and see what's popping, man. It's been a while since I've been here. Oh, by the way, I got a pair on. All right, we got the 1999 shorts haul. You already know why shorts are so cheap. It's because it's wintertime all over the States. Summer clothing typically sells in the winter, and winter clothing typically sells in the summer. Well, for affordable prices, that is. $19 for these shorts, not bad, man. I actually like these joints right here. If you guys want a cheaper wrap, they got these for 14 beans. They're long, though. Like, back in the 90s, styles, you know, the Fat Fives, and these are also 20 beans, well, $19.99. I like the blue ones as well. These are extra large. Okay, I'm not mad at these. Okay, then you get a little bit more expensive for 24 beans. These are dry fit, cotton. You got that Volt colorway, what does it say? Nike standard issue, dry fit. I like this colorway. It's not bad, but it's 2X. And then you got a little bit more expensive for 30 beans. These are probably Jordan shorts right here. Nope, they're Nike. 29 beans. Um, wow. That's, yeah, we saw those last time we was here. Now these I do like. I have a pair of Jordan shorts. Yep, these are Jordan. And these are extra, extra large. $29. That's typically what I pay for mine. I got my multiple colors. That's too big for me. You got Gator joints. You got this Force mesh joint these are different oh tech fleece for 30 beans that's the first time i see some tech fleece shorts in the building in a long time typically i buy mine from the clearance store not this one particularly but i have all my tech shorts come from a clearance store and these are going for 39 dollars. that's not bad but these are small man if i can find a large you already know i'm copying these are large got some brown ones at the bottom where are these regular nike yeah 30 beans Oh, get back on the hanger. There you go. Purple joint. It's Jordan's, definitely. It is extra large, though. This is funky. That mesh pocket in the back. I don't know how much I like that. More of those forces in medium. Dry fit. Gators. Let's keep pimping. Oh, damn, we got some joggers. I think these was here last time I was here. What was the retail price on them, though? No price tag? Oh, 24 beans. Ooh. This material is different, y'all. I feel like a, a sheep. I feel like I'm petting a sheep, y'all. This is wool? It can't be. 40 beans for the quality on this? That's dope. That's superb. I will buy the medium look that would fit because, you know, Jordan is always oversized. Even though it says standard fit, nah. Trust me. <laughs> the medium would probably fit normal. I might cop these because it feel like they would be super comfortable in the winter, especially up north. Long sleeve Nike tees, golf. Oh, this says Georgetown. I apologize. 10 beans, not bad. This one says $14.99. Was that supposed to be a bait and switch? Is it $10 or is it 14 beans? Oh, $9.99. And you got in that blue. Somebody been stocking up right here. One of these regular pants. But nah, these are dope, man. 40 beans is not bad. ACG. Focus, man. Huge, though, man. This is a 2X joint on the $24 rack. Passing Nike SB. Cheddar print Nike. Oops. What else? This is small. You know, here we got the jackets. ACG. That's going for 50. This is going for 60. By over here, this polka dot joint. Oh, this is a tech fleece jacket, but it's small though. 50 beans. Yup. That's not bad, yo. 50 beans. Is it really? Yup, small. More ACG. This is different. Look at the pockets on that. Tactical shirt. This going for 70 beans. Size large. Not mad at it. Here's another rack full of ACG 
shorts. I like that tan one. They got the orange one, a little bit shorter. Clearly these are for the summer. You're not rocking these in the winter, unless you're that bold. These are fire. Size large, Jordan, multicolor. On a $24 rack. Different. Y'all you know, find a whole bunch of those tech fleece I showed y'all earlier, but they're still all smalls. 50 beans, this color. This color is dope, man. I will rock this, man. For 50 beans? Damn, I just need a medium or large. This is different. This is different. This is a Nike Journey what? Is it, it's upside down. Journey Rewards? Is I'm saying it right? Yeah, Journey Rewards. I've never seen a Journey Rewards hoodie. It's different. Size large. And it's going for uh, 40 beans. This joint is $24.99 and so are these. What about this Jordan hoodie? Fire. This joint is thick and this thing's very comfortable, heavyweight. What's the price? The reveal 40 beans from $130. Size small, but you could probably get away with it. Why? Because these joints do run oversized. I'm not mad at it. I like it. All right, so we're approaching the, the shoe section. This is somebody uh, stash. I do like those Air Max 90s camo joints. Those are fire. Thus far, these aisles are slim, man. Looking bare bone back here. A lot of stuff you guys probably care about. We do got these rock climbers for 50 beans. We politely pass it. No, we're not. We hard passing on those. There's a slew of them in here. You got that. You got these ACGs, though. Slides for uh, 40 beans. Gene knows in the building for 80 beans. Size 12, my size. What are these? Oh. Where are you SB's lovers, man? 40 beans for these slides, man. Looking like vans in here. They got different colors. 34 for these. Oh, 34 for these, man. All big sizes. These are worth 50. But is it really, though? Will you pay 50 to rock these? I like this color a lot better. Purple maroon. I like that. Oh, actually, burgundy crush. 50 beans. What is he? Prestos? Yes. Tie dye. 60 beans. I feel I've seen this somewhere. Was it a Nike sneaker app? These are 60 beans if y'all care for them. And these are too colorful. Pegasus joints. 50 beans. Free run trials. 50 beans. Here these shoes are again, y'all. Yeah. I 12. My size. 60 beans. All sales are final, y'all. All sales are final. You guys want to see some long foot gang shoes, man? Check these out. These Hirachis are fire, but they're a size 15 for 60 beans. You can get these LeBrons. I guess these are the 2K 16s, 17s? Uh, 17s for 100 beans. Now I'm in a size 13 section. I'm just uh, circling back. This doesn't look like a size 13, size 15. These are huge. I am seeing these in abundance though, man. These, these joints right here. Pegasus 83 premium. 50 beans. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Okay, we see a baby version. Well, technically not, man. These are size 10 and a half. They're going for 60 beans. These Harachis. I do like these. Fire colorway. Who's these? Air Max Terra Escape Plus. 70 beans. We've seen these all over the outlets. These are the Dawn for 50 beans. I haven't seen these in a while. These are 2K joints, right? Yup. Nike Zoom 2K for 40 beans. That's cheap. Ooh, the West Indian. This is not bad. 70 beans, size 11. But it looks like a replacement box. It's all of them in a the replacement box. Size 11 again. Size 11 again. And it looks like could be. No, nah, maybe it's the original box. I have no idea. Guys, I don't know too much about running shoes, but these are the Infinity Runs all black. It looks like it's fly knits. And they're going for 80 beans, size 12, my size. Not bad, man. I do believe this is a comfortable, comfortable shoe. Yes, I have tried them on all black. That's not bad. Here's another one. This one's different, though. This is the Miller 2. And this is the Run. Infinity Run in a different colorway. I'm not mad at this colorway either. Same price, 80 beans. What are these? Why are they here? SFB B1. What's that say, right? SFB B1. 80 beans. Wow. That was not even intentional, man. But, you know, I had to get that out of the way. I had to drop a pick. I'm always dropping boxes, y'all. Always. Remember, guys, all sales are final. At this point, are you guys surprised to even see these in the building? They're going for $100, size 11 and a half, my size. But unfortunately, this is not the cheapest I have seen them. I saw them as low as $67, and they have my size, and I politely passed in. Below that, we do got these Hirachis, and these are going for 60 beans, size 11 and a half, my size as well. Below that, well, we got some Nike Flex. 34 beans, not bad. Flex experience are in 11. I remember one of the first shoes I ever performed or did a performance vid on my channel was those Flex. If you go back to the second video on my channel, you'll see them in the original colorway back in 2015, I believe. Kanaki SE, 60 beans. Hope I pronounced that right. I remember when I first started this channel, I was pretty much looking for shoes for myself, only showing my sizes, but now I have evolved. I'm showing you guys all different sizes. I'm showing you guys different genders. You know, seeing taller kids, man. Shoes I don't even care for, you know what I mean? 
I'm still showing them. Even though I talk about it, I'm still showing them. What are these though? Same shoe. 60 B. Still showing them. What's this down here? And what is this? SB. Still showing them. Man, I even showing you guys socks now, to be fair. There's a pair of socks in here that I like. And there's these, but these are all youth though. Uh-oh, -oh. getting to the men. Still not my size. I got a pair, man, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Men only go to size eight though, fortunately. And speaking of different sizes and genders, let's come over to the, the women's side of things. We have seen these Jordans everywhere, man. The OGs in multiple different colors. Matter of fact, I think the majority of them I have found were in here in all those colors. Oh, Air Max 97's all black. 80 beans though. That's a size six and a half. Ooh, I got tricked for a quick second, man. I thought these was 11s. Guys, I found more 97s, man. This one got a white midsole, but they're going for the same price, 80 beans. Karachi's in the building. I like 30 beans? What? For size five and a half? So I'm in kids right now, and 97s are just rampant. 80 beans, same price. Flip it on this side. We just saw those. There's another one. I promise. There we go. Right here. 70 beans, 4 Y. Got the Flux the Griffies, uh, 50 beans. Whole bunch of Giannis's. And don't forget, final sale. On all purchases from the outlet. At least the clearance store, that is. Oh my goodness. They went back in price. They went back up in price, y'all. These are going for 80 beans now. I remember I saw them as like low as like 40 something. Whole bunch of LeBrons for 70. Okay, now this is the price I do remember, 40 beans, 2 Y. I guess it's only for like smaller shoes. 197, same price, 70 beans. 97. Guys, I'm seeing an awful lot of these Kyries, man. They're all over the place, man. These are going for 50 beans. Got these Prestos, 270s. KD Clorox, 70 beans. I feel like I've been here for a long time. These Harachis look fire. Ah, take it back, 60 beans if y'all care for them. White Air Max 97s. Oops. You got the PlayStation PG5s, yo, for 50 beans in size four. And right next to it, Nike Bayou Kyries. More Kyries. I did not drop those. So I don't leave no one out. They do have these Harachis also in the nine and a half for 60 beans. And there's a few of them here still available. And for those who are looking for a basketball shoe and you guys love LeBron, these are the 19s. These are going for 100 beans. Oh, there was another pair right here, but it's gone now. And for those who are looking for size 10, it's plentiful as well. Look what homie found, some LeBrons. Not bad. So I'm leaving empty handed, man. Did not copy anything from the Nike. Clarence store, there's a lot of things in there I didn't like. Of course, I'm looking for those shoes though, man. Nonetheless, if I have anything interesting, maybe I do. I'll take it to the crib. And we're back in the sneaker office, man. Thank you for watching all the way through. If you made this far, salute to you. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my intros. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing you guys my whereabouts, showing you guys their surrounding areas from different angles. The B-rolls increasing a tad bit. I like it. Let me know your personal thoughts. But nevertheless, man, I got something for y'all. I got something I purchased off of Nike. I'm kind of excited to show you guys this item. I don't even know if you guys would have a hint on what it could be. Do you guys have any ideas? Anyways, Nike has now removed the Just Theft Me marketing off their box. We appreciate it. And they give us this new uh, mechanism on how to unbox these shoes, man. I think this is uh, dedicated for YouTubers. Nah, I'm just playing. I have no idea. I don't... I would be stupid to say Nike don't watch my videos. They probably do, but I have not personally got any email or notification messages about any of my videos from headquarters. But nevertheless, let's continue on, man. Um, I guess this is what they uh, are now doing. So let's unbox this. Pull it right here. All right, butcher that. Oh, boom, boom. You guys would know exactly what this is as soon as I pull it out the box. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And yes, I cop a pair off the restock, guys. Boom. And here they go. These are the Air Jordan 1 Taxis. How you guys like these? I love them, man. I'm so happy to have a second pair. Yes, I got a pair from Foot Locker. I want to say roughly around a month back. Drove like an hour back just to get this pair in hand because I had a small window of copping. You already know how it is. Anything that's on the shelf is not gonna last long. So when I got the heads up, I had to pull up and cop, man. So this is my pair from Nike. When I got that notification, or I can't remember if I was on online, wherever the case is, I pulled the trigger ASAP Rocky. Now, a lot of people can compare shoes, you know, shadow backboard quality. This is shadow backboard stylish. You know what I mean? Obviously the colorway, 
um, even the sill that's being used on the side panel, the toe box is very plush. But you know, comparing leathers, man, it's like it's comparing children. They all have their purpose and they all have the unique skills, and we all love them differently. At least the good ones, right? <laughs> and the smart ones. You know, I mean, we have a little special place in our heart for those. But um, same thing with these shoes, man. Um, for those who don't have the shadow shadow backboards like myself, I don't have it. I have the 2.0s. Uh, I would say the quality of what I prefer, this matches it. And I kind of like the style of this particular shoe, man. You already know Air Jordan 1 Wings logo on the side. I already talked about this shoe. This shoe was designed by Peter Moore. He designed this wing logo on a airline's traveling and he got like napkin and he doodled this Air Jordan Wing logo based off a uh, pen that a storage had. Still panels both on the medial and lateral side. You got this taxi yellow on the toe box region, back heel and the upper part of the heel, black tongue, nylon, and also the taxi yellow Nike ear on the tongue as well. Inside has a yellow insole and outside have a taxi yellow outsole. Black laces, factory lace, not really. And let's see if they comes with another set of laces because I can't remember guys, can't remember. Yo, where's the laces at? Guys, I don't see an extra set of laces, man. I gotta look at my other pair to compare my laces. I don't see a set of laces there. Let's take this out. Nothing thus far, y'all. In the box. Yo, Nike, what's up, man? You cutting corners, guys. You cutting corners. Where's my extra set of laces, man? Y'all decide to omit the extra set of laces for this pair? That's all right. I got a second pair. The one I got from Foot Locker. Let's see if there's a extra set of laces in these um no laces on the left no extra set of laces on the right oh and for y'all smart alleys in the comment no these is not the same pair they're two different pairs guys yes nike foot locker i never knew that i did not know we didn't have extra set of laces with these taxis that's mind boggling. How would I not know that? Why would Nike remove the extra set of laces that come with all Jordan ones? I mean, even from the lower tiers, I'm talking about the Yang and Yangs had two set of laces from the, you know what I mean, the premium products, the bands, the bread toes. I mean, every Air Jordan one comes with two set of laces. Total three, two extra sets and then one that's factory lace, not really lace. That's mind boggling. Had anyone noticed that? Did anyone even mention that? Not even a white lace. Maybe taxi yellow lace. Neither. Anyways, man, I'm prolonging this vlog way too long. I can't believe that, man. That's mind blowing, man. I'm gonna end it on this note, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on these pairs of shoes. Peace.